Joe Cerrone, welcome to KID 118 Advanced AutoCAD in our weekly Zoom classroom meetings. Okay, so I've released module seven. Module seven is 3D modify commands, and we'll go through and use these 3D move, 3D rotate, and 3D scale commands, as well as creating an array and then working with some solid modeling modifications. The exercise, and I realize it's a little bit small. Let's see if I can make that a little bigger. Yeah. The exercises are basic solid modeling exercises like 3D mirror, uh, arraying in 3D, and then basic solid modeling applications. This one here would be bonus. And so you're to do exercise 7-1, seven, 7-2, seven, and 7-3. And then as we look at the outline of the course and the dates that things are due, module six is due on the 14th and module six was these other solid modeling applications. I don't wanna go into the show all uh, announcements, but we can take a look at that. So module six is due on the 14th. Um, Module seven is due on the 21st. And then we've released module eight. I have some videos to make for that. And it'll be our final project. We'll have a final exam starting on May 1st. And then all projects will be due on the 10th. I've also enabled some quizzes and exams from the end of the chapters. The book does give you the answers for the, I think of the even numbered ones. And so you have to look up the odd numbered ones. So you, you at least get half of them right. And then these other quizzes, you can go ahead and complete those as well as we go through and work on the course. And I see some of you guys have already jumped into them, which is great. Back to the main splash page. And so as we're working on our kid drawings and things like that, Let's take a look at module seven. I've created the, te the teacher videos using Zoom. I usually like to convert those to YouTube and put them on YouTube and you can watch for that. I'll put those in there. They're the same videos. Um, it's just easier to manage on YouTube. If we take a look at our content section, I'm gonna view this as a student. Module six was on solids editing and being able to work with these different techniques. And the textbook is very technique orientated. It's not really uh, super vocational orientated with a lot of big projects. If you do want more projects, let me know because I have a lot of them. Uh, but the way that the administration wants us to run the course is they want textbooks with learning objectives and written curriculum. And so I can't really use my homemade curriculum that I've used in the past, but you're welcome to additional drawing files if you want to have like a nice big mechanical assembly or an architectural assembly. So here's our module six exercises and then looking at module seven. And when we look at our module six, we require these three exercises, which shows how to use sub object editing in architect and um, extrusion techniques and some other things like being able to color faces and things like that. And then module seven gets into these three mod 3D modify commands like 3D move, 3D rotate, 3D scale, arraying and aligning in 3D, filling and chamfers. And being online, you know, it really just depends on how you'd like to ask questions about some of these different aspects. I'd be happy in the Zoom meetings to go through individual details with these commands. And so things like the 3D mirror, not a real difficult part to mirror. They give you the geometry. You can download it here. And so you download the file, open it, and then we would model it. And so an example of that would be here. That would be my completed file. Let me see if I can get my practice files open. Here's our 7-1. And in that 
drawing exercise, what we would do is use a 3D mirror command to mirror this object. And then what we would want to do is to use things like object snap and 3DO snap to be able to create a plane. I like to use known locations like the center or endpoints of different features. If you delete the source, it'll be like a flip. And there we have it. And then, you know, they ask us to use some other applications, but if we look at the home screen, sorry about that. And we look at some of the applications. We're, we're working within this solid editing area right here. And then if you go into solids, these are where we would find these commands as well. Like, and there's in the textbook moving towards gizmos, like the move gizmo, the rotate and the scale gizmo. And they really seem to work just the same as our standard gizmos. I haven't quite figured out what the big difference is, but the ones that I've traditionally used are things like 3D move, 3D rotate, and 3D scale, I, I really don't use that one much, but the, the first two you'll use considerably enough. And then just like in the past, we wanna make decent looking drawings, put them on a B-size title block and place them in a viewport for vocational aspects, like our stadium seats. This file, I need to add the title block to it, but we're going through and using these different operations with solids like filleting and then chamfering those edges. And remember solid modeling in AutoCAD is, is not quite as fluent as it is in programs like SolidWorks um, where you have a feature tree. And so as you look at it, AutoCAD is a great 2D package and it's a good 3D package, but it's not the same as some of these things like Inventor or Revit or SolidWorks, or the new one is Fusion. And you can get Fusion free using that same download code that you were using to download the AutoCAD. And I do have a Fusion teacher that teaches the industrial design class um, on Thursdays in the afternoon. Uh, and we also offer, we're looking at offering that online, I believe in the fall as well. So as we look at these different projects, we'll just go through and follow our textbook examples complete the projects, put them on title blocks, submit them to the Dropbox, and then we'll evaluate those as well as the projects quizzes. If we look at module eight, converting sections and solids, we'll continue with our textbook applications. And then as we go through, we'll work on a solid comprehensive project for the course. Back to the main splash page. And then our calendar of events, you know, as we're working towards completing the course, remember that the course will end on May 10th. As we go through, all projects will be due at that time. We'll have a final exam that will start on May 1st. We'll use Honor Lock, similar to the way we did our midterm exam. And I actually, I, I, I take that back because this is a 12 week course, um, but we'll put a practice exam out for students to take with the final exam so that they can be prepared for that. And then remember, if you do want to come in in person, we do have student assistance available. Please email us and let us know that you're coming uh, so that we can look out for you. Sometimes the students will stop by and the lights automatically will go off in the room and they won't know. And there's people there. It's just the uh, saving energy mode for the uh, motion uh, if we don't have somebody walking in the room. But we have uh, in-time, in-classroom assistance available and then online available. Alrighty, so that's our Zoom classroom meeting for this week. I'm gonna stop the recording.
post it and open things up for questions.